what, what is the risk in having a theta number that is just too high? Not being able to trade the next day because you blew up your account. I mean, that's typically what it comes to. Theta usually, I mean, short options equal risk. The risk equals chance of having too much risk on for your account size and doesn't allow you to stay in the game. would be my only thing. And when volatility is too low, you can have too big of a theta number, even though it's well inside your parameters. So you have to watch that too. Yeah, I mean, the risk of having a theta number that's too big is that with that big theta number comes a lot of risk if the market moves. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, obviously you'd love to have a big theta number with no risk, but you can't do that. So sure. you're gonna end up most of the time having a big theta number. And when you put it on, like you could sell an at the money straddle and you'll have a big theta number, but you'll also have a lot of risk, you know? Right. And then, so before anything moves, you're looking at that, you're like, this looks good. And then after something moves, you're like, oh, this doesn't look as good. Right. So right. just be careful. There should be a decent relationship between your net lick, your theta, your delta risk, your extrinsic. You'll get used to all of them kind of come together and be in line. Very good, sir. Let's take a quick 90-second break and come back. We've got more Tasty Live with an option jive next.